see that is more to life than just us being able to get up, that we ought to get up and just thank God this morning when I got up. You ought to get up and whatever's happening, thank God for the day. If it's rain, cold, bitter, even Jesus himself did not understand many times when God would carry him through. This was God's only begotten son. And, and you just got this down. In Luke chapter 22, if you remember at verse 42, when Jesus was facing the cross, he said, Father, if it be thy will, be thy will. I don't understand that. Let this come. Yes. Pass from me. Yes. But he said, but nevertheless, let thy will be done. Jesus didn't understand the dynamics of that. God's plan is a declared plan. Mm -hmm. And when God comes to you, and when God comes to me, God expects us to walk in obedience to his will. He never asks for us to make a, a blind leap. I'm not teaching about a, a blind leap of faith. What I'm teaching about is that there is a clearly in a dark life. Yes. What I'm teaching about is that God speaks to us. No, he doesn't speak to you when you get ready to run into a bridge and bump. When, you know, some folks tell you, I had a guy tell me, Joey, Joey, my head drunk, about to hit a bridge and bump. He said, God told me, God told me to straighten up. No, God speaks. He speaks to us through his word. Yes, yes. Sir. And in Romans chapter 10, Verse 17, mm -hmm. he says, so then, faith come by hearing, and by hearing the word of God. I used to think, I used to think, being a church of Christ, being in the church, that God would not use his spirit to speak. Let me tell you something, God's spirit speaks all the time. Yes, sir. We just refuse to listen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. He speaks all the time. Yes. You know what? Our desires are so strong, we just refuse to. That's how we get in trouble. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. That's how we get in trouble. Yeah. God used to me telling me, Coffee love, love Danny. Danny done something. He gave everybody $10 but me. I'm, I'm, me and him ain't friends no more. <laughs> but you know what? The Spirit speaking expressly, I ignore it. You know what? Because my will is so strong. Even though, God, and God's not going to force against my will. No. He's not going to force me against me. He's not, he's not going to force me against me. If, if I want to act a fool, God wants to say, go ahead and act a fool. <laughs> Here's the problem when we go act a fool. We are not ready for the results of it. Amen. Right, right. Get drunk and first thing, and police come put you in jail. Then we don't talk. Lord, please, I hope this, no, it didn't pass. You don't deal with it now. Yeah. That's the consequences. Amen. Amen. Yep. Amen. Same thing in the church. Amen. 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 Run the church for, you want to run to talk to God when we get in trouble. We should. Amen. But you should be living that away all the time Amen. because that's God's will. The Amen. Spirit will continue to speak to you. Amen. But He won't overrule you. Amen. Yes. Amen. Now, church, I want you to understand. He will not overrule you. Yes, sir. Remember in Timothy? Hmm. He said the Spirit speaks his flesh. He said in the last days, men shall be lovers of themselves yeah. more than lovers of God. Of God. Didn't he hit that thing right on the head? Yes, Didn't he hit that thing right on the head? Yes, Look at our society now. Yes, we made songs about it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Do your thing. <laughs> we care more about ourselves. We're selfish. We're selfish mm -hmm. than we do God. And the only time that we want God is when we get into something, we can't get into something. God's plan is a declared plan. God will use folk close to you to help you to understand His will. Yes, sir. I know what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. I know what I'm talking about. Acts chapter 9. You all remember the conversion.
Jesus saw him. Uh -huh. Saul was on the road to Damascus. Yes, Mike come about, knocked him off his horse. Uh -huh. And a voice spoke out and said, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? Saul responded, Who art thou, Lord? That's why I know folk lie. Because if God spoke to you and told you you was all right, how come he didn't tell Saul? Amen. Yes, sir. Mm. Amen. He did. Saul so said, Who art thou, Lord? He said, I am Jesus of Nazareth, who thou persecuted me. He said, Now send me. You know, he got it straight. He said, Now go to the master's street called Straight. That's right. And he said, it will be told unto you mm -hmm. what to do. Mm -hmm. If God was going to save anybody today by speaking to them, telling them what to do, why didn't he mm -hmm. tell someone? Mm -hmm. He told him where to go. Yeah. Amen. But here is the point that I was driving. God will use people That's right. to help you understand his will. Yes, amen. And you know what? He will bring, you can be sitting by minding your own business, not doing anything, you know and God will bring a situation to you. Mm -hmm. sure you know who he took this situation with Saul with? Ananias. Took it to Ananias. Ananias said, Lord, why, why you bring him on me? This can't be killing for me. And you bring him to me? <laughs> what did I do? Yeah. Well, I'm only Ananias. Yeah. Lord, I'm only Ananias. Yeah. Lord, Lord, I don't need this in my life. <laughs> you ain't gonna tell God what we need. Okay. I don't need this in my life. He, he, he killed people. God had to tell him, say, look, my plan is better. That's no question. He said, he is a chosen vessel. Yes, I did. You go ahead and do whatever he, whatever's necessary, you do it because he is a chosen vessel. That's it. I say God's plan is declared because he takes people and use them for our benefit. Mm -hmm. And many times we don't even appreciate And then God can take a circumstance, whatever circumstance you in. Just like it was here with uh, Gideon. Uh -huh. You can be in a circumstance. If you trust God, if you just listen, hmm. he'll work it out for you. Yes, right. You remember in Genesis? You remember Joseph? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, Lord. If there ever was a person who was in a situation, and I like that story because God took people who were close to him his own brothers. So don't you get disappointed when the people on the job go around trying to stab you in the back. Look at Joseph. Yeah. Blood brothers. Yeah. Don't get upset when folk in the church act like they don't want to strike. Jo jo Joseph's blood brothers yeah. were jealous of him. Yes, yeah, they were. Sometimes folk just jealous. Just jealous. Have you ever seen some folk like that? They just get mad about them. Nothing. You speak to them, how you doing today? I don't know why you asking me. <laughs> why not ask you? You can just say, isn't it a beautiful day? What's so pretty about it? There's some folk just like that. That's just a disposition. But his own brothers were jealous of him. And as a result of their jealousy, he suffered. He did not understand why his own brothers did that. But God had the best plan. Amen. Amen. God used that circumstance. He can use our circumstances. He used that circumstance. Elevated Joseph. <coughs> Second in charge in the kingdom. Amen. And those same people who mistreated him mm -hmm. had to come right back to him. Yes. Amen. 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 So all you got to do Amen. stay true to God. Yes, Amen. 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 It may take a while. You may can't you you may can't even see it. That's bad. Yes, you 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 say, well, Lord, I, I did this last year. Well, just, just keep living. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. They they mistreated me last year, two years. Well, just keep living. Amen. Yes. And because Joseph just was consistent doing what God wanted. Situation came back. Those same circumstances that put him in that condition yeah. came back. But I want to tell you something. While he was in the condition, he lived the best of life. Yeah, okay. Them brothers, it was suffering. 
The ones that put him in the bed and all that. They sold him in slavery. Yes, they were slaves. Yeah. He was living the best of life. Mm -hmm. Came second in charge. Yeah. Because that was God's plan. Yeah. Yeah. What's meant for you? That's, what, that's why Paul in Romans, wrote in Romans chapter 8. Paul said, if God be for you, mm -hmm. who can be against you? Yes. Who can be against you? Yes. Paul also said in Romans 8, 28, he said, all things work together for good. All things. Them that love the Lord, to them who are called according to that word. Yes. I want to tell you, things will work out, church, but just keep your hand in God's hand. Amen. And you can't keep your hand in God's hand your way. Amen. No. Amen. You keep your hand in God's hand. His way. Yes, yes. His way. Obey His way. Yes. Even though you may not understand nothing that you're experiencing now, God will work it out. Yes, That's why we used to sing the song with emphatic, just trust and obey. Mm -hmm. If you trust it and obey, yes. it'll work out whatever circumstances yeah. you're struggling with this morning. If you're here and you're going, whatever you're going to, I believe that God is able to help. Yes. I believe that God, now some people say, well, brother, if you just don't understand, see my best friend, they, they, done, they, they say she had cancer, and rather than get better, he got work. You know, do you know what God's will is? He didn't say all things were good. He said all things work together for good. To them that love the Lord. To them that are called according to his will. If you hear this morning, you're not a member of the body of Christ. I'm talking about the church. Jesus died for the church. God sent his own son from heaven from the coast of glory. He come to this old dust here. Died a vicarious death. So folk like you and I mm -hmm. could be saved. He came down from him, was falsely accused, went through all the humiliation, spat upon him, humiliated. But he did that for a person like me. Paul says in Romans 7, it's for a wretch like me. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of us have been wretches in our time. And I'll be, and some still don't turn around and curse down to the ring. But I'm going to tell you something. Jesus has opened a way for us to be saved. If you hear this one, you're not a member of the church. You come. Hear God's word. Hear his word. That opens the door. We hear how Jesus died, how he buried, how he resurrected the third day. After that, after we hear, we must believe that. Belief and faith in this context is the same thing. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Belief, when it's transferred, uh, when, when, when it's, it, that's what we believe. We stand on that. That builds our, 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 it starts building our conviction, what we believe. It's a part of our values. That's what we hear and believe. We must repent of our sins. Tell you that, except you repent, you shall all that was perish. You must confess Jesus. Be the Son of God. And we must be willing to be buried with Him in the water grave of baptism. Baptism is what puts us in Christ. Yes. Yes. Galatians 3 26 and 27. For we are all the children of God by faith. Many of you that have been baptized in Christ have put Him on. If you're here this morning, you are a member. You, you know that you haven't been, you haven't been adhering to the plan of God. You've been, you've been, you've been working out, trying to work it out to sin. Yes. Let me tell you something. My thing, we can't go. We, we can't work out. Amen. Amen. We can't work out. Ever heard people say that? But because I'm gonna be more faithful to the church so that I get this straight. If you could get it straight, it would already be straight. Mm -hmm. You know why it's not straight? Because you can't straighten it. Right. And as soon as I get this straightened up, I'm gonna be. You mean to tell me you're an intelligent person, educated, and you can straighten up a problem, and you you, you refuse to straighten it? You're not very intelligent. Mm -hmm. You know why it's not straight? Because you can't straight. Right. Yes, Amen. And you know what? The more you mess with it, mm -hmm. the uglier it gets. Yeah. Yeah. It's like quicksand. <laughs> the more you wiggle, the deeper you see. Right. You can't fix it. Can't fix it. Right. But I tell you who can fix it. Yeah. Yeah. If you could talk, have, and the Bible tells us, have a little talk with Jesus. Yes. He can fix it. Now, some people say, well, I've been talking to God too. 
two, three days and it ain't fixed yet. You don't have to fix it on your time day. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Amen. Amen. Don't you remember in, in Corinthians, Paul, the Bible says, Paul had a thorn in the flesh. The devil tells us what that thorn was. No, sir. And how many times did Paul pray to God? Three times. Three times. He heard us three times. One thing we know for sure, Paul did not. Paul was not Afro-Ascentric. Because that been us with the thorn in the flesh, one time and we'd be good. He ain't fixing you. I ain't, ain't saying nothing about it. Paul prayed three times. And then even after he prayed three times, the storm wasn't removed. Oh, that, that would have that would have crashed my faith. You mean after I prayed three times, Lord, he didn't move it? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna still trust. No, you know what happened? Even after he prayed three times, he got a response, and the Lord said, My faith, my grace. He didn't say I was going to move him. No, he didn't. He just told Paul that my grace. my grace. Let me tell you, all of us in here this morning are living under the grace of God. Amen. This morning, his grace is sufficient. We are to be obedient to him, come to him, and obey him. Those of us that have strayed away, that are struggling with issues and personal things, that we are to come to him this morning. Lord, I'm going to make an unconditional surrender to you. Lord, here I am. Send me. We ought to be willing to do that this morning. Listen, our lives are not in our hands. You are aware of that. We have no control of our lives. Yes, we think we do. We have no control. Our lives are not in our hands. When God calls, you go down, you're going to respond. Say it, say it. Ready, Ready or not. That's right. When God decides whatever happens in life will happen, he doesn't have to get my permission. Yes. Amen.